Here's a video on how to replace the burners inside a propane grill. All you'll need for this job are a screwdriver, a set of pliers to get off the cotter pins, and then some sort of scraper to clean off the bottom of the grill. Other than that, and a set of new burners, this job is really straightforward, very simple, and something you can do yourself. And I'll make sure to list all the tools and um, burners that I use for this grill in the description box below. And let's get started. The first thing you want to do is identify what um, the model number is for your grill so that you can find the right replacement parts. Sometimes it'll be on the front, and as you can see, it doesn't look like it's on here. But we know it's a charbroil. But another place we can look is if there's doors on the front, you can open those up and it might be on the inside of the door. If not there, you can come around to the back of the grill. And on this model, you can see that it, there's a sticker right here that gives us that information. So we have the model right number there. We can put that into Amazon, Google, eBay, whatever, and find the burners that are right for this grill. First, we'll want to remove these. And then the covers for the burners. And that will give us access to all the four burners down here. So what I'm going to do first is just vacuum all this out, clean it up, and then we'll remove the burners. As you can see on this burner, the igniter is right there. So we just want to take off, this igniter is clipped on right there. So we can just take a flathead screwdriver, wedge it in between that clip and the burner, and then just slide off the igniter housing. Might be enough. This burner can come out. I want to give you a good visual of what's happening when we're taking it out of the actual grill just so you can get an idea of what's happening. So what we do is when we pull up on the actual burner, what's happening underneath, if we look underneath where the handles are, Right here, so that's the end of the burner, All right? Right, let me see if I can get right there where I'm flashing that light. So all we want to do is just pull that straight out and that female end will come off. So let me try and see if I can show that to you. All right. See? There you go. So that's the male end right there. You can see my finger. And that is the female end I'm wiggling around of the actual burner. So that's the female end of the burner that I showed you wiggling around. And then if we look inside where the burner was, you can see that male end. Which is what we just have to put the new burner back on. So it's as easy as that. We just slide it onto that um, and pull it off that. And that is how you replace the burners.
Here's a close up after I did some more cleaning. I used a wire brush just to clean up some of the rust as well as some of the caked on grime. Figured I didn't need to show you all that since you're here to figure out how to replace the burners, but figured since while we're here, might as well clean it up a bit, especially clean up these uh, plates right here because that's where we're gonna obviously mount the new ones. So I wanna make sure that they're ready to go. But yeah, so there's that. Let's get started on the next part. Now we can install the new burners. And I'll just start on one side. And what you want to do is rock them into place because you want this um, female end to um, rest into the male end inside of the grill. So I'll show you that in a better picture. But first, you just want to angle this up. I'll give you a better visual here. Just have this tilted up like this as you try and feed it in. And then if we look underneath the grill, what we're looking for right there is for those two to see in. So let me see if I can show you. So I'm gonna wiggle it in and just like that, so now those two are uh, connected, and now we just want to go back over here and make sure that this is resting there and ready for the retaining clip. And we'll just do the same thing for the other three. I'm gonna actually move this one up a little bit instead of having it rest all the way in. Um, I want all the burners to be in inside of the grill before I push them down into place in case any adjustment needs to happen. And then we can clip on the igniter here. Push this through. Now we can reinstall the cotter pins. It's important not to throw away any parts. Um, my kit didn't come with any of these screws that go into this cross member, so I had to salvage those from the old um, burners. So just make sure not to throw away any parts until you make sure you've gotten everything you need from them. And then you'll just screw these into the top of the burner. I'll just slide these cotter pins into the sides of these screws to hold this in place. There you go, cross members in. Now we can just put on the covers for the burners. And put back on 
the actual rack. And just like that, that is how you replace the burners and the guards on your gas, on your propane grill. So instead of scrapping it, try and um, find replacement parts online and do it yourself. Relatively simple. I think the parts cost me like 30 bucks and the grill is practically new. Eventually it will obviously need some new parts, but for now it's like it was when it was new. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. Give this video a like if it was helpful and subscribe to my channel. I try and post how-to videos weekly, so check out my channel if there's any other things you're hoping to learn. And I'll see you in the next video.